Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at wave accounting, doing a wave accounting review, taking a look at the pricing features, pros and cons, and everything you need to know when you're considering getting started with wave and the overall wave small business software unit. Now they are primarily known for their accounting software, but they do also offer free invoicing software as well as the ability to accept payments through those invoices, as well as offering payroll and even some financial advisory services as well. Now, some of those are add-ons. Now, again, this is primarily focused on their accounting solution because, again, that is the most popular product that most people are interested in when it comes to Wave. When you're taking a look at Wave as an accounting and bookkeeping solution, and maybe comparing Wave as well to like other competitors such as like QuickBooks. So, for small business accounting, that's really what Wave does best. So, that's what we're going to be focusing in here on today's video. Now, if you do want to follow along or you do decide that you do want to check out Wave, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash wave. That will take you right over to wave where you can get started for free today with wave. Again, some of the links in the video description are affiliate links, which is a great way to help out and support the channel. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So again, we're going to be taking a look at overall features and what they offer and their overall pricing structure, as well as a look at some of the comparisons. Now I have done a full in-depth step-by-step tutorial, how to get started with wave as a beginner. I will be leaving links down below in the video description to my accounting and invoicing and even the payroll overview as well. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about some of the specific features that Wave has or maybe some step-by-step -step tutorials, I'll be leaving those links down below in the video description as well. Now, when it comes to Wave overall, again, they are primarily known for their accounting software. So you can track the overall cash flow of your business. It's a great alternative and a much cheaper solution than something like QuickBooks. I've covered uh, plenty of QuickBooks on the channel and and Wave is a very good QuickBooks alternative. Uh, Wave is a very popular solution for that because they do actually have a completely free version. Now, their free version used to be a bit more expansive uh, than what it is now. They have started to change their pricing structure a little bit. And let's go, just go ahead and dive into that right away because I get that is a huge determining factor for a lot of you guys getting started. They do have a free version still, although it is a bit less feature heavy than what it once was. It is now the starter plan is what they call it. And that is available for $0 uh, on the starter plan. You can create unlimited estimates, invoices, bills, and bookkeeping records. Again, you're not limited by clients. You can actually create unlimited amounts on any amount of clients that you want. You have the option to accept online payments. You will still have to pay a slight uh, credit card processing or ACH processing fee like you would on any other bookkeeping platform uh, that you would through online payments. You can also invoice on the go via the Wave app as well as managing cash flow and customers inside their one dashboard. That is all available on the starter plan. However, it is a more manual option now on their pro plan. Again, this pricing is subject to change. This is accurate as of the making of today's video. They do have the pro plan available at the monthly rate of currently $16 per month or the annual plan at $170 per year. And that is billed annually. That is still one of the cheapest pro level accounting solutions. Uh, we'll get into a little bit more of the price comparisons, maybe to some other software as well later in this video. Um, but this is the pro plan that allows you to automatically import bank transactions uh, and automatically merge those transactions inside your account within Wave. So you will be doing things more manually inside the starter plan. It will be a more manual process. It's not fully automated. If you want things fully automated, and you know, automatically tracking those transactions from your bank accounts, credit card statements, things like that for your business, you're going to need the pro plan. So do just consider that um, if you are going to have a budget for accounting and bookkeeping, then that's what it will cost. If you're fine with the more manual approach and maybe you have a lower overall transaction volume in your business than the starter plan, or even if you're maybe just doing your bookkeeping rep records based on the invoices that you're manually sending out anyway, and then the starter plan could be still a great option for you. Uh, whereas the pro plan is better you know, if you have a higher transaction volume or maybe if you just get paid a lot in your business, or even if it's just a lot of small amounts and it adds up, you're probably going to want the pro plan in that case, uh, just because it will be very tedious to be manually typing those in. Um, it just depends on what you want. Uh, in terms of other features that the pro plan has, you can also automate the payment reminders, things like that. Um, now, in terms of the other parts of the software, I did mention, of course, that the bookkeeping 
Uh, and the accounting is available for free inside the starter plan. And that is completely true. They do also have invoicing that's available. Uh, and you can create unlimited records within the free version of Wave, which is really nice uh, and something that you're just not going to see, frankly, on pretty much almost any other software out there, especially with no income limitations either, um, especially when you compare that to just really any other software out there, there other than maybe a Google Sheet or an Excel spreadsheet that is, again, e even much more manual uh, than at least having some sort of software like Wave to actually be able to sign into. And you also have the app as well, uh, so you can do things things on the go. Now, in terms of the payroll receipt capture, uh, the capturing receipts is something if you need a receipt scanner that is included in the pro plan, but that is a separate, you know, payment at a cheaper rate, albeit if you do want to just have that as an add on. Uh, and then payroll is separate. Same with the hire a bookkeeper. That's sort of their more like you know advisory type services where you can hire an actual bookkeeper. Um, those are separate monthly services. Again, those are optional add ons. You don't necessarily need those. Uh, if you're just comparing what's available in their month, you know, in the starter versus the pro plan. But I did want to point out that difference because I know in videos in the past that this is a newer pricing structure uh, that they have started with this year. So I uh, just want to make that very clear in terms of the overall pricing structure and what they have. Now, as you can see here, this is sort of what the dashboard would look like if you did have things populated. Uh, I also have a dashboard here populated just to give you a basic idea of what the uh, system looks like. So if you come over here to the dashboard, you can see your overall cash flow, inflow, outflow, uh, your profit and loss statements, your income, net income. Uh, so you can get a good general overview of your expenses, your income. And this is even just within the free version. Uh, this is just a free starter account. Uh, and the other nice thing is too, is that you can come over here and even add uh, additional businesses as well. So you can switch businesses, create even just your own personal financial tracking, as well as creating additional businesses businesses that you can add in here for free. So this is great. Maybe if you have a few different businesses that you manage and operate, especially maybe if you're even doing some of those things manually, um, this is one feature that is highly, sometimes almost overlooked within wave, uh, that a lot of other softwares will want to make it a lot more complicated to switch between multiple different businesses within different accounts. So uh, they do keep it really easy within Wave if you do have multiple businesses or even if you just want to maybe keep things as a personal ledger uh, or a personal balance sheet or you know a, a personal income statements versus like your business income statements. Uh, you can separate and parse those out here too as well um, if you want to keep track of things that way or you can create multiple businesses or delete them or add more. Uh, that's it's really nice maybe if you have things separated out per property uh, or per website or however, however you uh, go about your business. If you have multiple, you can separate them out pretty easily from within the dashboard, uh, which is nice. Now, in terms of their actual accounting features and transactions, again, you can you know, manually add in transactions. You can also manually import a bank statement, but if you do want to do things automatically, you will need the pro plan, uh, within your account. Now, in terms of actually going through, uh, listing out the accounts. Uh, if you do want to learn more about like step-by-step -step process of how to use Wave, again, links are down below to the specific tutorials. Um, overall, within Wave, again, they have their invoicing. They have the ability to accept payments as well, uh, which is fairly comparable to a lot of other services out there. Uh, they also have the accounting and they have the payroll and advisors are sort of like an add-on. Now, I will say overall that some of the features within Wave are, you know, they're a little bit more basic compared to some of the features, more advanced features uh, that you would have in a, a platform like QuickBooks or even Zero uh, or FreshBooks or some of the other software. It is maybe a little bit more basic, but honestly, for most people, that's really all that you need to get by for small business accounting. You really don't need necessarily all of the extra features, especially with all the different price hikes from all the other companies. At the end of the day, even at that $16 a month uh, or $170 annually, that is still going to be your cheapest option 
when it comes to accounting software for a paid accounting software. And you really still can't beat the free version uh, at the end of the day within Wave. Them even just having a free version available is a huge selling point for a lot of people. I will say one th caveat and sort of a con that I do have and sort of a gripe I do have with their pro plan though is that they are sort of charging for, and this is something that a lot of people maybe mentioned on Reddit as well, some of my own experiences, they're, they're starting, you know, they used to have a lot of that those features available for free, uh, and then they started charging on the pro plan, and yet they they aren't necessarily at that like QuickBooks level uh, and really worth the money completely for the pro plan, but it's still going to be cheaper uh, with the price hikes uh, of what even QuickBooks' most entry-level plan is. Uh, and one of the gripes to get to the point on that is the auto-importing of bank transactions is they do use the Plaid platform, which personally, multiple occasions I have had fail on me or straight up just not work. That's a huge gripe because they're using a third party platform connection to facilitate those bank connections. You'd want it to work hundred percent of the time. And frankly, plaid just does not work hundred percent of the time. So that's a huge gripe that, uh, you know, I've had issues with plaid on multiple other different types of financial software. Uh, and, and because I see it here again in wave, it is just sort of a down thumbs down is just like, Hey, maybe, you know, find somebody else other than plaid. I mean, it does work still like most of the time, uh, but just that little bit of downtime that plaid can tend to have does sort of, you know, <laughs> give it a little bit of a thumbs down in my book um, just because of that as they're auto importing bank transactions and there's no other uh, option that you have. So if there are connection issues, uh, you might run into that. Whereas, you know, I've only ever had maybe one connection issue uh, within QuickBooks and they have their own like third, they have their own first party platform connection um, versus Wave uses the third party of Plaid. So, and Plaid just, is going to have necess likely will have more issues potentially. Uh, again, your mileage may vary compared to my experiences, um, but that's just my experiences with using Plaid um, as a auto importer. That's like their third party company that they use to auto import the transactions and link the bank accounts. So uh, it's completely secure and safe. It's just that, you know, the actual connectivity might be a problem at times. Um, that's just my experiences. So uh, beyond that, you can also add, you know, adding users that's in the pro plan as well. Again, you know, some of these features, some people complain about like, hey, these used to be in the free version and now you're starting to charge for it. And you know, maybe the product isn't exactly great. But again, if you take a look at QuickBooks, even their cheapest plan, <laughs> Uh, on the solopreneur plan, which is not even technically full-fledged accounting, which you can still do within Wave, um, you can still do do full-fledged balance sheets and accounting uh, within the Wave app compared to with QuickBooks, the um, cheapest solopreneur, which is their self-employed plan, is technically just basic business uh, income and expenses, which honestly is fine for most people. Um, even myself, that's just typically what most people even need. But if you do actually want full-fledged accounting, and that's still going to be that $20 per month plan. Um, and if you want the full-fledged accounting, that's $35 a month. So with these price hikes, realistically, if you're looking to save money on accounting software, Wave is still one of the best options. Um, and most other software is going to start at that $20 per month um, plat like platform cost. So that is something just to consider when you're looking at maybe some alternatives um, and, and, you know, considering that. Now, honestly, from what I've seen from a lot of viewers commenting uh, on the channel here is that they are pretty happy with Wave overall. Um, Wave does allow you to do a lot on their free plan and even their paid plan on the pro plan is still one of the most cost effective solutions on the market when it comes to small business accounting software. There's not, re there's not really any like client limitations. Oh, you can only send invoices up to five clients. There's not any of that on Wave. Um, you also are not having to go through like so many different tiers of, of complicated pricing structures. Again, you're not necessarily going to have all the advanced feature sets that other software may be able to offer you, you know, on those higher tier plans um, that are maybe better for enterprise level type clients and things like that. But if you're just a small business owner, uh, ultimately, a lot of people can still get away with Wave uh, and have a good time um, at even just at that pro plan or even on the starter plan. So hopefully that kind of helps you dispel um, your concerns maybe with looking at different software. Um, Wave overall can still be a really great solution 
for you and keeping track of your income, your expenses. Um, the reporting is still pretty nice as well. Like if we take a look at that uh, here within the software, you know, the profit loss, you can boom. Boom, you can click very quickly, easily select from date ranges, um, you know, change the report basis if you want accrual or cash basis accounting. It is a full fledged accounting software, not just a, you know, income expenses sheet. You can use it like that if that's all you want to use it for. Um, but, you know, you do still have all the different types of reporting. Uh, and you can switch between businesses pretty seamlessly as well, which is also pretty nice. Uh, you can add in different transactions, estimates, recurring invoicing as well. And their invoicing system is pretty nice as well. Um, so, you know, again, your mileage may vary with your experiences with the software. But again, because it is a free software to get started with, you know, I would highly give them a shot. You know, go ahead and check out Wave. Uh, again, if you would like to sign up at that first link down below in the video description, that's brandvaleski.com forward slash wave and give it a shot, you know, try them out, see for yourself, go through the sign up process, add your accounts, um, or even just add things manually and see how you like it and get a feel for the account. Uh, at the end of the day, it's still one of the most cost effective solutions on the market and why I still highly recommend giving wave a shot when it comes to small business accounting software, or even if you just want to use them as well for invoicing or some of the other software features that we briefly covered here in today's video. Again, if you'd like to learn more, watch the tutorials, links are down below as well. Well, if you wanna sign up for Wave, if you guys have found this video helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway guys, that's all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.